Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, you have three items on your agenda this evening from the City of Augusta. They all pertain to the same development proposal. Um, just like we talked about at the work session, this is, consists of two rezonings and one annexation. Um, the first request, which is the main parcel, this is the 9.1 acres that is already in the city of Valdosta. This is just a rezoning. Um, as you see, it's the northeast corner of Bemis Road and Guest Road. It is currently split zone between highway commercial, but most of the property is PCD, and it stands for Planned Commercial Development. Um, that is a zoning district that is no longer recognized by the city's LDR. Um, it is a remnant of zoning districts in the past. Those of you who have looked at the zoning map know that we have several similar type zoning districts around on the map, as well as other things such as DR-10, um, that we typically just go by the old zoning ordinance. In the case of planned development, um, the approval that was granted to this property, in this case 2007, carries through with this zoning district. So unless it is built exactly according to that master plan, the property has to be rezoned. So the proposal is to develop this property contrary to the master plan in 2007, but do a conventional commercial development in CC zoning that would consist of an anchor grocery store with drive-thru pharmacy, um, with a gas station that is on the same property, but of course detached from the main building. Um, in your packet, of course, you have the maps that show the zoning patterns, um, the aerial, which is a large vacant lot. I remember 25 years ago when this was forested, um, but it is part of a commercial corridor along Venus Road. Um, and then the character area map here. Um, in your packet also, and that is a very fuzzy picture of it, but you have an 11 by 17 site plan which has an aerial background which shows in pretty good detail what they're wanting to put on the property. You see the, the grocery store uh, feature prominent in the, in the center. Um, plenty of room for parking, plenty of room for open space and stormwater um, and even landscaping. Um, since this would be new development, that has to follow all current development standards of the city. Um, those would, of course, include parking and stormwater, but also landscaping. Um, something to note is even though the adjacent property is on PD in the county, we would consider that the same as residential zoning district uh, because it is a residential PD um, that actually began in the mid-1990s. So a buffer yard would be required along its eastern boundary, and then also street yard along Bemis Road and Guest Road. Um, they're currently in the review process for the plans, just to see how things would go. Um, and they're pretty much, I think, through that process, or at least getting very close to being through. Um, the other two agenda items in your package is to touch base on those. This is um, a remnant parcel that is sort of being sold along with this property as a package deal. One thing that makes it a little bit different is it's very small. It's 0. .6 acres off the southeast corner of this property. But more importantly, it is an unincorporated Lowndes County. So with that property, it is an annexation and a rezoning request. Um, and you know in Georgia, we do things a little differently with annexations. We actually take a vote on the rezoning first and then the annexation. Um, so when you get to making a recommendation on these three, um, the recommendation is to make separate motions for each of them. The first one is certainly the main one, that is this agenda item number four. <coughs> is for the nine plus acres that's already in the city limits. I'm glad to answer any questions you may have. Any questions? <laughs> yes, one question. Um, has there been any, any uh, has there been any comments from the adjacent neighborhood? We have received two phone calls that I'm aware of from residents in Hamilton Point um, who either got the certified letter or they saw one of the signs um, asking what was being built there and they were told the commercial development with an act grocery store. And both of them were pleased. Okay. Any more questions for staff? Okay, I'll next call, okay, I will now call for people wishing to speak in favor of this request. Anyone please come up and state your name and address, please, sir. Civil engineer Michael here on the project, so I'm available to answer 
Anyone on staff have questions of anybody from the request? Thank you very much, Mr. Carroll. Anyone else like to speak in favor? Anyone like to speak against this proposal? Again, anyone that like to, would like to speak against this proposal? Hearing none, I turn it over to the commission. Any comments, requests? It must be the new year. <laughs> <laughs> you don't take a sympathy on me tonight? <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. Uh, look for a motion then from someone, please. Mr. Chairman. I'd like to make a motion that uh, we recommend approval of this rezoning uh, file BA 2016-01 for 18.49 acres from uh, Plain Commercial Development and Highway Commercial to Community Commercial. Excuse me, that was 03 we're voting on here, not 01. There was a typo on some of the earlier copies of the okay, map, but this is 03. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> so we're going to, for the... Uh, 8.49 acres to be changed to community commercial. It is consistent with the comprehensive plan and uh, therefore make a recommendation for approval. Second. Okay, all in favor? Any opposed? Flight sign? Okay, now we need to move on to number, item number five of this request, right? Yes, sir. This one is the rezoning request for the 0 0.6 acres that is off the southeast corner. Um, if you refer back to that master or to the development plan, this is a portion of the property that is not planned for the commercial buildings. It is basically open space, but also housing some of the stormwater facilities that are already there. It is really sort of the backyard corner that's being tagged along to bring it into the city. Uh, because it is an annexation, we take action on the rezoning category first and then vote on moving it into the city limits, at least in terms of recommendations for you folks. Commission, have any questions for presenter? Okay, all in favor? Anyone like to speak in favor? I have to do it this way, ladies and gentlemen. Anyone like to speak against? Okay, now, Matt, there's, which item are we voting on this time now? This is agenda item number five. This is the rezoning of the small partial that is being proposed for annexation. Okay. I just want to make, because there's some conflicting paperwork up here. So, all right. All right, I turn it over to the commission. Any questions? Do we have someone who would like to make a motion tonight? Mr. I was just going to make sure, just to note for the minutes too, um, it's in the staff report, but it's currently zoned plan development in the county, and it is proposed to be CC zoning in the city, just like the main city park. So, okay. Go ahead, now. Mr. Chairman, I'm find a consistent comprehensive plan and uh, recommend, make a, a motion we recommend approval to the uh, city council. Second. Okay, any, any other? All in favor, please raise your right hand. All opposed, like sign. I'm going to beat Bill Slaughter's record. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, item number six, an extra request for the Gusto development. Anyone here like to speak in favor? Anyone here like to speak in against? All right, gentlemen of the board, at your pleasure. Any questions, comments? I have a question. The county and the city is in have no problem with this. No opposition to the report, sir. No. Only question. Any other questions? I would like someone to uh, make a recommendation then, please, as to disposition. Mr. Chair. I'd like to make a motion that we recommend approval of this request also. Second. 
Any questions or anything? All in favor say signify by your right hand. All opposed, like so. Mr. Chairman, who seconded that motion? Um, Thank you. And again, these will be voted on at the appropriate city and county meetings in the month of March. So thank you all very much.